What are you talking about? This is an easy game. Slow down. Dallas is a two and 16 down to their four string quarterback. They're riddled with injuries. So, you know, historically, this is an impossible feat for the Steelers to overcome. You know, the Steelers always play down at the competition. Dude, this ain't something new. I'd rather be playing a mid nineties NFC pro bowl roster on steroids with Bo Jackson from Tecmo Bowl running the ball with both Spy and Deflate Gate turned on in front of a stadium full of Ravens fans. Then I'd feel confident the Steelers could battle it at. But right now, versus this team, I'm shaking like the Noah's Ark floorboards. This week's episode of Pittsburgh Dad is brought to you by Iron City Beer. Wait, say so any Dalton's on the Cowboys? He allowed to jump teams? I just thought he like came with the Bengals. Kind of like when you get a new car and there's a CD player on it. You know, it's, it's on there. You know you ain't gonna use it. Dak Prescott got hurt a little while ago. Walked it off. You know, he literally walked his foot off of his leg. Like it ain't attached no more. It's gross. What's a quarterback with a last name like Gilbert? What's eating Gilbert's grape? I'll tell you, Minka. Everybody quiet down. Here comes Romo's report. Are you still a jag off, Tony? Yep, there's the report. At least the Cowboys got a star right in the middle of the field there. Because there sure as hell ain't one on their team. What is Dallas showing that big screen they got? Footage of when the Cowboys were actually good to distract you from the dumpster fire that's going on in the field. You know what they should play on that thing? Varsity Blues. And people down there go nuts for that movie. And Texans can't get enough of JVB. James Vanderbeek. Nah, I don't like all them sunny spots all over the field. That's distracting. Pittsburgh should have brought some cloud cover with them. Be the only thing they're covering today. Put some blind up there or something. Look, it's blind and Ben. Like he just opened the Ark of the Covenant. Next thing you know, his face is gonna melt. Look, it already did it to Jerry Jones. Oh, this defense is lazy. They're like Thanksgiving turkey. They're getting carved. Nah, Big Ben ain't hurt. He just going to the locker room early to beat the rush. He truly is a Pittsburgh. How do you kick a 60 yard field goal and you miss two extra points? Kick the extra points from the 50 then. Oh, I like his new guy. This Henry Mountain Dew. Something about him, he looks like he only sleeps on catches though. Well, he's wearing number 99. That little tiny mustache soon gonna be full beard, Kiesel style, and Zeke Elliott. Is he still wearing them little half shirts like he's down in Fort Lauderdale on spring break? Everything's bigger in Texas, except the shirts, obviously. Absolutely, that's rough in the passer. Yo, know, you ain't allowed to gently caress the face no more. That's 15 yards. What are yous doing? You kick the field goal. You go up by eight. What are the Steelers coaches using common core math or something? I knew that crap would ruin the entire world and this game. So oh, here we go again. Down to the last play. All or nothing. How the hell is this possible two weeks in a row? This is creating way too much tension. Who's directing this game? Quentin Tarantini. Hey, remember when we all still had fingernails? Ah, who needs them? 3, 2, 1, thank God. But I got some bad news. At halftime, I promised my firstborn child if we win this game. So Mandy, you belong to Rumpelstiltskin now. Oh, you'll be fine. He's a little guy. Like Ryan Switzer. Harmless. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button or the Steelers are gonna lose and it'll be your fault. You just, just, just start hitting buttons, that's what my kids do until they break everything.